I'm Katrina Campins. I flipped my first property at the age of 17. Fast forward to today and I've sold over a billion dollars in real estate. I'm a real estate agent, a business owner, and a proud first generation Cuban American. And now I'm going to open the doors to some of the most luxurious properties in the country. From my home of Miami to the mountains of Montana, welcome to Mansion Global. The charming seaside village of Stonington, Connecticut is known for its mile-long beaches. Settled in 1649, Stonington is Connecticut's oldest district, rich in history and brimming with small town charm. The dreamy pace and peaceful community sets this quaint village apart from other coastal destinations. Known as the Point House because of its exclusive location at the tip of the pier, Five Water Street offers the most tranquil panoramic seaside views. This home is absolutely steeped in history. It has stunning views of the Atlantic Ocean from the private dock. It also features various porches, perches, and verandas. Welcome to Five Water Street. With seven bedrooms and eight baths, this incredible seaside mansion is on the market for 10 million. Lori Jovel understands that much of its value is in its history. Lori, it's such a pleasure to be here. I feel so relaxed and tranquil in this environment. What makes this particular area so desirable and it's so quaint, right? I didn't even know it existed. We are on a peninsula, which is less than one square mile. If you drive through this town, you see the charm and. I'm gonna call it kind of coastal retreat. The people's blood pressure kind of goes down when you come in here. It's almost like stepping into a Norman Rockwell setting. And that's exactly how I feel. It feels very tranquil and zen and my blood pressure did go down when I pulled up to the property. So that's a very good point. And it's a small community, but this house is very famous. This house is very famous because um, this was built in 1908. It was built for the Lightkeeper, but during the 1938 hurricane, uh, one Water Street, two Water Street, three Water Street, and four Water Street were wiped away. This was the last house standing, and hence became the Point House. So it's really stood the test of time, and what I love about it is they kept with the integrity of it when they renovated it. So you can feel the history here, and yet you have top of the line amenities, and the, the furnishings are to die for. The current owner bought this in 1995, and resurrected it back to its original glory and also added on to the east side the kitchen area and the master bedroom above. The people who did the stonework outside also did it to mimic the lighthouse next door. So everything is trying to keep with the history of the, of the property. When he did the inside of this house, he mirrored the Porto Chirivo in Sardinia. It makes you feel like you're on a ship. It's very nautical, very New England style. Very coastal elegant, very coastal elegant. They kept, they kept the, integrity. the integrity of the house and kept it the integrity. When you walk through this house, you see all the curved architecture. Um, it's just a pleasure to walk through. Amazing. It is amazing. Well, I can't wait to tour around. We've never really toured something of this style, so I'm excited. It's really a, quite a beautiful piece of property. The minute you walk in, you could tell that there was definitely a coastal influence to the home. And you feel the sophistication. Ratan coverings on the walls, which is very prevalent in Italy and in Spain. You have this circular dining table, which was made to mimic a captain's wheel. They kept with the integrity of the architecture, which I love. So you have these curved archways and it overlooks a gorgeous sunroom, which has tons of natural light. This is truly coastal living at its finest. And it doesn't hurt that you have warm wood floors as well. Your guests would love to dine here. This room is just wow. I know we see a lot of expensive homes, but to be able to have a room like this in a home that has so much history, that's truly special. You have 17 nine foot windows and not only is it impressive on the inside, but when you pull up to the property, it's one of the first things you see. It allows natural sunlight to come in. You feel like you're one with nature. 
the wood paneling on the wall, the 12 foot ceilings. The room is massive. It's connected to the dining room and it flows so beautifully into the outdoors as well. I love the fact that it's indoor outdoor so I could picture these doors open up, the family gathering here, the piano playing, people playing chess, and then you have this all connected to the dining room. I mean, this is the ideal spot for a family gathering. It's a perfect vacation home. This open style where the kitchen and the family room are connected is very in line with luxury living nowadays. But what I love about it is the fact that they kept with the antique finishes. So you feel like it's just a great continuation of the rest of the home. The renovation was done on point. And let us not forget granite countertops, but they also added a little bit of ruby so you see it intertwined. Really cool feature. You have seating here. You also have a family room with a fireplace and a wet bar because who wouldn't want to enjoy a good glass of wine on those cold nights? But my favorite spot as a businesswoman and a mom is this breakfast nook. I can picture myself here every morning with my coffee or green tea and my laptop working away but also enjoying those views of the bay which lead out to the ocean. This is truly a top shelf East Coast beach house. Coming up, this historic home is full of surprises. It is beyond words. I mean, check this out. If a quintessential New England getaway without the hustle and bustle is what you're looking for, Stonington is the escape you need. Whether you want a low-key getaway or a grand oasis, this town gives luxury buyers the best of both worlds. Five Water Street is listed at 10 million and it won't stay on the market for long. The master bedroom in this home feels like you're in a resort. But of course, that's what you'd want when you're buying a beach home. You want to feel relaxed, tranquil, and the colors in here evoke that emotion. It also doesn't hurt that you have a living space and a private terrace to take in that landscaping. Even the makeup area has an amazing view. And coupled with that is a luxurious bathroom to go with it. This home is the perfect vacation home, and with that, of course, will come plenty of guests. Most of the guest rooms in this home have either their own bathroom or their Jack and Jill. And they all have the same coastal theme that we see throughout the home. But this guest bedroom in particular is for those guests that you really love. And I'll show you why. This outdoor terrace is everything. You feel the seaside breeze, you see the sailboats. Owning a home like this is truly the American dream. And if you think these views are breathtaking, just wait till you see the private pool area in this home. This veranda frames this gorgeous outdoor seating area. Another perfect spot for your entire family to gather. It has a fireplace. This stone walkway leads you out to this spectacular, and when I say spectacular, I mean spectacular pool area. It is beyond words. I mean, check this out. It feels like you're in a magazine. Oh, the ideal vacation home. Who would ever want to leave? And it all sits on the bay. So you can see sailboats go by and you have plenty of grass area to play football or games with the kids. This is American living at its best. When you think of New England luxury living, the sophistication of it all, this is it. Seven bedrooms, five baths for 10 million. That's right on the money.